What's up guys, back here again uh, with another video. Um, a couple weeks ago, somebody had uh, commented on, um, you know, an earlier video I did of this tank. Uh, this is the uh, the Top Fin 10 gallon Fascinate tank. And the comment or question was, you know, do do I still enjoy this tank? And um, not not sure why that question was asked, or I don't I don't know if somebody bought it and didn't really have a, a good experience with it. Not really sure. Um, and my answer was, you know, absolutely. You know, I definitely still enjoy this tank. Um, you know, uh, of all the tanks I have, this is essentially the one one of the tanks that's in my bedroom. Um, this is the the tank um, that I you know I turned the la the lights off last with. So um, this tank I still enjoy very very much so uh, and then I realized you know I hadn't really done you know an update in a while on this tank um, I think you know this tank got um, you know a lot of traction and um, there were a lot of comments and questions and even curiosity about the tank because it was you know kind of a, um, a new direction that pet smart and top fin had had gone in uh, with some of their with some of their tanks um, but yeah, I realized I hadn't really done any updates, so this is this is kind of my update uh, review. Um, you know, uh, if you guys have any questions or you guys want to ask me questions specifically about this tank, definitely leave them in the comments. I'll try to get to them as best as I can. Um, not much has changed with this tank. Um, you know, I have the same original rocks in here. This this really cool piece of driftwood. Uh, that I started out with, I haven't changed that. I think um, you know this driftwood really fits this this taller tank, you know, perfectly. Um, still using the same you know internal filter along with the. Uh, uh, I did switch out the top fin filter for a 10 gallon Aquion filter. I, I I did do that. Still using the same Aquion heater. Um, what are some other changes? You know, I have switched around some of the plants. Um, I've added more Anubias in throughout here. Um, I never really had any plants back there. My goal was always to have, a, you know, a taller plant uh, in the back there. So I recently added uh, one of the Crip or, or, or kind of a bushel um, of uh, Crip Spiralis there. So I'm really excited that I finally have that kind of height in the back that I was looking for. Um, these, uh, alternate theory, uh, uh, Renakis, or Renikis, one of these days I'm going to get that right. Um, the, the set I had in here originally did really, really well, and then I don't know if it was maybe, maybe the light, I'm not really sure what it was, but all of a sudden it kind of started to, you know, wither out a little bit, and I took those out. And this this bunch right here, I had growing in another tank, um, and uh, I, I kind of designated one of my smaller tanks to to it being a grow out tank for plants, which has really really worked out. Um, and you can see the kind of condition and the shape that these are in. These are actually absolutely stunning. Um, so I took out the old set and I, I transplanted these ones in here, and hopefully these ones will continue to flourish. Um, uh, um, like they have been. Um, all the Anubias are doing fine. This one right here, you know, I can't really figure out. I've gone in there a couple of times with a brush on my fingernails. There's some brown algae on there. It's not that bad. It's a little bit of an eyesore, but, you know, um, at the end, you know, I go for natural looking uh, scapes and designs. So, you know, algae and stuff like that, it's part of it. So, um, I can live with that. Uh, as far as the fish, um, I still have five um, cherry barbs in here, which have have put on some size, and um, you know I think they look really, really well. They're, you know they're healthy. They they eat a ton. I try not to feed them that much, but you know there's never any leftovers uh, with with these guys. Um, and then I don't know where she went. Uh, you may have saw her earlier, but um, uh, there she is. Um, this betta fish right there, female, who was one of the original baby bettas that I ever bought. 
you can see the size on her and how she's kind of grown and matured. She's doing well. Um, so yeah, I, I don't, like I said, I, I don't, um, you know, um, ha have any complaints about this tank. I really don't. Um, I, I think this might be the tank that I may use whenever I, I get the guts and the courage to maybe try salt water. I think this would be an awesome looking um, salt water tank. You know, I have not ventured into um, that realm of, 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 of fish keeping yet. I'm really, really curious about it. Um, but I've looked at this tank and said, man, I think that would look awesome, you know. Uh, with some live rock, maybe a couple simple corals, and I don't know, maybe a couple clownfish, something like that. But that's that's down the road. Um, so, you know, even um, I guess what I'm saying is, even you know, if I don't have this tank set up freshwater, I I still have some ideas. I still have a lot of ideas for it. I I think I'll always be able to find a use for it. So, um, to get back to that original question that I was asked, I, I absolutely. Still enjoy the tank uh, and plan on enjoying it uh, much, much more down down the road. Um, so uh, here's just kind of an overall look uh, at the tank. Um, you know, I tried to keep it simple. Um, you know, I tried to put some height in there because it is a taller tank. Um, tried to keep some hardy fish like I always do. Um, you know, I've even thought about maybe maybe taking the cherry barbs out and maybe... You know, I don't know, putting um, uh, um, some of those German rams or some of those electric blue rams. Those are some fish that have really piqued my curiosity. I've, I've really considered getting into, you know, uh, smaller cichlids. Um, you know, I, I don't have a tank big enough to do a lot of the big cichlids. You know what I mean? So I'm not even going to venture into that. But some of the smaller, you know... I guess you want to call them community cichlids, I think, um, might might do well in a tank this size. You know, I've heard you can put a couple of rams in a 10-gallon tank. So, again, that's something down the road. But um, all in all, just, just another quick update. Um, let me know what you guys think. Any questions or comments, please, like I said earlier, leave them down below. I'll do my best to get to them and answer um, all of them as, as honestly as I can. So, other than that, uh, I'll talk to you guys down the road. See ya.